Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV. More housing items then from patch 6.4 that we still have yet to look at. Now 6.4 added a plethora of new items, three of which are actually on the new classical range. Now you might be familiar with the classical items. Uh, there's a classic chandelier, classic interior wall, there's a classic dresser, that kind of thing. It's kind of contemporary looking, traditional styled stuff that you would expect in, I don't know, most, most, it's, it's very basic stuff. It's designed to fit in quite easily. We've got three new items, uh, of which you can get two of them via crafting. So if we click on classic under our search here, you'll see the classic table lamp added in 6.4, which is a level 90 smithing recipe with bismuth ingots, Thrygian gold ingots, ARK and velvet, and tallow candle. This is a basic recipe, as well as the classic umbrella stand, which uses four chondrite ingots, five ironwood lumber, three ARK and velvet, and two refined natron. These are, you know, relatively easy to get. They're being um, sold on the market board quite highly at the moment, even though the recipes are pretty easy. So a good tip there if you still want to make some money, those new items are selling well. And another item you can actually get from Dive Point. Now, uh, this is the classic tableware. It says, a tableware set of simple antique design. So let's have a look at these items together then. I haven't looked at these prior to this, so this is going to be my first impression. So as you can see, all three items have the die sticker next to them, meaning that we can die all three of them. Let's plop them on the table first. So this is the actual tableware that you can get from the dive point then from your free company submersibles. In the future, uh, Yoshi P said that private houses, uh, personal houses are going to be able to use um, company workshop related submarines and things like that in the future. That was mentioned, if I remember correctly. I don't know the time frame on that, but uh, for now, this is pretty much exclusive to a free company then. It comes complete with a side plate with a what appears to be a butter knife. Then we've got our two forks on the left and our two knives on the right. We've got ourselves a drinking cup and a beautiful big plate there with a large placemat. There's not really much point in spinning that around. In terms of diability for this item then, I think, um, I think most people will be happy with the diability. It comes down to just simply the placemat itself dying, uh, which is actually the most useful part, I, I would wager. Um, I'm still looking forward to the future when we have access to uh, dual uh, die palette options for housing items and clothing, which is confirmed to be in 7.x. It's not confirmed to be on all items, but I would imagine that they will backdate that over time. So we might be able to look forward to one day maybe being able to dye those um, plates as well. That would be really cool. It looks really good. I quite like uh, the darker colors. It sort of brings out um, the, the brightness of the plates and you can go all kinds of wacky colors. Yeah, it looks really good, actually. Um, I, I do happen to like the darker colors there, though, personally. Right, so to go with that, there are the other two items, which, as we saw, were blacksmithing recipes. The first of which is the classic umbrella stand. Let's put that down on the floor so we can give that a good whirl. As you can see, it's a pretty decent sized item. It's not a small item, unlike some of the other umbrella stands that we have. In fact, if I go to the storeroom and we type in um, umbrella... There's something like the Crystarium Umbrella Stand, which is a good competitor, um, which is made of stained glass. I guess it's the same size, actually. So that's your direct competitor. They're starting to do a lot of umbrella stands. There are a few in the game, but um, the stained glass one is, is usually my favorite go-to. This is quite nice, though, the classic one. I do like the detail on this. It does stand out quite drastically, and if you don't want something abstract, this looks more down to earth. I'm not sure about this sort of bamboo or whatever this might be that's tied around in this strange oblong shape. Um, I presume that's bamboo. And it's sort of attached via spokes. I do like these checkered um, parasols though. It kind of makes me wish that we could pick them up off of a rack and actually use them as parasols. Some of those would be really nice. I also like the clasp um, like push button to keep them together as well i do like that that's really nice good item honestly uh in terms of diability for this item uh i have absolutely no idea which bit dies 
Oh, so it's actually the wooden post that changes color in the center. Now you see that's something that the 7.0 die system will definitely address because this bamboo is something I would want to change the color of as well. Not necessarily the parasols, but the extra details, maybe make that into a brass color rather than this washed out color or some metal metallic colors or something like that or, or something with a little bit more sheen on it. But yeah, it's always nice to be able to dye. I guess the wood is the main part uh, to match other pieces of furniture. So that's what that looks like. And then finally, the other item we have to look at, as you know, is the other blacksmith recipe that we talked about earlier, which is a classic table lamp, which is the whole reason we got this table out as well. And I think most people will be quite pleased with that one. Let's just move the placemat back. Um, so this is what this looks like. Yeah, actually, that's kind of cool. It reminds me of something my grandma used to have, though. She used to have these weird sort of lace, although hers had like lace draped bits coming off of it. It reminds me of one of those old fashioned grandma styled uh, things. The detail on this is really nice though. You have to get pretty close to see any kind of pixelation. And of course, if we hop on top of the table, you can see from a downward position, the exposed light bulb itself. The light then that this actually produces Let's find out together. Oh, it's a nice, warm, soft glow. Not as extreme as something like that with glass, but this texture sort of makes it fade away. Yeah, not too much light being produced by that, but just enough to make something mood lit. Of course, you could put this in something that looked insane, right? You could put this in a nice, like, mansion-style thing, and it would go together quite nicely. But, uh, yeah, it does remind me whatever reason of my grandma which is not a bad thing actually i do miss my grandma so let's have a look at some diabilities on this one as well oh so it is the base that's good again another thing that would be easily fixed in 7.0 to have the ability to dye the shade because a lot of people probably would want to dye that as well it looks really good in those purples actually i think it's this specific like it's not like wood it's like a resin almost sort of thing or maybe bakelite kind of texture if you know what I mean I suppose it's supposed to look a little bit like stone maybe or rock or some kind of some kind of hard material I don't think it's supposed to be wood but yeah I don't know looks nice oh that looks horrible that that looks like the sort of color you would buy in in 50s homes that weird sort of honey yellow Oof, not sure about that Oh, it looks nice in greens, actually. Yeah, so that's my only complaint with this is I wish we could also dye the shade. But hopefully Square Enix address a lot of the older items. By the time that 7.0 comes out, this will be an old item. So hopefully they backdate at some point. Um, I do think a lot of the darker colors wash out the details. So if you wanted a lot of those, you'd probably have to go for much brighter details. There's some quite nice leaves and what's it called? Fleur de Lis? I can't remember if that's the name for that particular pattern. But yeah, those are the three items that we're looking at today. Let me know what you thought about these, if you've picked them up yet. It's interesting to see a, ta a piece of tableware with plates from a submersible voyage. But, you know, it's not the craziest thing we've seen <laughs> from a submersible. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.